Frank Soto. I'm Hector El Barbario. And we want to welcome you to this Kinetic Dragon Tutorials. Campo for the street, Kinetica for your life. In this tutorial, we're going to continue talking about the Kempo application. We were talking about how Kempo is the best option for the street. Why? Because you have different options. You can devastate your opponent by knowing how to destroy the anatomy. If you want to know more about this, go back to my previous uh, videos, my previous two videos. One is devastating your opponent and the other one is how to manipulate your opponent, which is the second one when you learn how to manipulate uh, your opponent's motion, okay? So, when he throws a strike, I can devastate bah, by going against the tension and attacking the opponent, going for uh, devastating his anatomy. The other one was how to manipulate and float, okay? So when he comes with the other hand, I can start manipulating his body by manipulating his motion, going into different angles. When I want to devastate, I go into a 45. When I want to manipulate, I go into a 90, okay? And my motion changes. When I'm devastating, I'm rooted. I'm working from the ground up. When I'm manipulating, I'm floating, okay? Now, now we're going to work with the uh, evading Kempo. We did the devastating Kempo or demolition Kempo. We did the uh, gentle or manipulated Kempo. And now we're going to do the escaping or evading Kempo, okay? Which is this uh, hand, okay? So when we do this, we're floating. When we do this, we're rooted, we float, or we jump and skate, okay? And we're gonna use the uh, different angles, the directional lines. We're gonna go, we can go to 12, to six, to 130, 430, or uh, 1030, and uh, 137, 30, 1030, 430, or three or nine, okay? So we can go in uh, those lines to avoid. Okay, so let's say uh, this way. Hector is trying to attack me. Okay, so when I see the strike, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to see him with my straight vision or my tunnel vision. I'm going to use my peripheral vision. I'm going to move my head a little bit and try not to focus and acknowledge his strike. And I'm not going to acknowledge his anger either. That way I'm going to avoid extra fear. You're going to feel fear if you ever get into a, a, a fight, it's normal. But you don't want to build or expand upon that uh, fear. You want to overcome it. So you want to breathe and you want to move your eyes a little bit, okay? Instead of facing straight forward, you're going to move in an angle and probably you can go face here or you can look down a little bit. So you're going to see, when I'm escaping, you're probably going to see that my posture goes straight, uh, down a little bit. That is because I'm moving my vision and I'm, I'm already escaping, okay? So, when he comes, I'm not gonna look him forward, I'm not gonna look him into his eyes, I'm gonna move my vision a little bit and start using that peripheral vision to perceive motion, and that's gonna accelerate my timing. I'm not gonna lose any time. So when he comes with that strike, I can move this way, okay? So, let's say he comes as fast as he can, go fast, okay? So I'm gonna start moving my body, okay? So I can jump, so when I'm jumping, I'm gonna put my uh, feet, I'm gonna move, on the ball or on my toes, okay? So it's like boxers when they do this, or fighters, okay? When they're jumping around. It's the same principle, okay? So when he comes, I, oh, I move this way, okay? I can also skate this way, okay? Either way, I can also skate to the side, okay? this side or this side, okay? And I can also skate, move back with the striking, or move back in an angle, either this way or this way, okay? It doesn't matter if you strike with the right or the left. You can move in any of those directions, okay? Now, you can also do this type of motion by moving your body, your upper body, okay? By maneuvering. So when he comes with a strike, I can slip like a boxer this way, let's stay there. So he comes with his first strike, I can slip. If he comes with another roundhouse strike, I can do some weaving and I can counter this way, okay? This is the basic uh, movement of a boxer. If he comes here, I can also go this way, start moving, okay? And I'm starting to skate. But you have to keep your feet light, okay? Because you're floating, 
and you're also jumping because you're escaping. So you, you're not rooted, okay? Now, if you're rooted, let's say you block the first strike and you want it to devastate, and then you see the other strike, you can start just escaping, floating, and moving around, okay? So uh, work with these ideas, Victor. Uh, practice this, and practice the three types of Kempo. You have, remember, devastating, manipulative, and evading camp. I thank you very much for watching these videos, and I hope to see you next time. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe, please subscribe to this channel uh, by clicking on the subscribe button. button. Um, also, uh, if you like it, put a like, put thumbs up there. Uh, visit me in Facebook, Hector Barbarie, Frank Soto KDM. Uh, also visit my Twitter and Instagram and all the social media that is there for you. My website, masterfranksoto.com, and I will share with you more ideas, concepts, and theories of motion. If you have any questions, you can Twitter me at the account that is in, on your screen right now. And we'll hope to see you in the other Kinetic Dragon tutorials. Kempo for the street, Kinetica for your life. It's all about.